in some sense, paradoxically, in spite of all the problems of the United States, in the last few months, the dollar has been strong rather than weak. Even if in the medium term, in my view, the US uh, is going to need a weaker dollar to reduce its current account deficit and have a more export led growth. But in the short run, I think there is a flight to safety. And the reality is that currencies depend on the relative uh, uh, condition of one country compared to the other one. So macro fundamentals, financial, fiscal, and otherwise. And while things are really terrible in the United States today, major economic and financial crisis, economic, financial, and fiscal condition are even worse in the Eurozone or Japan. And since money is the relative rise of two different monies, currencies, then while things are terrible in the US, being worse in the rest of the world implies that the dollar has been relatively strong. You know, the US might need over time a weaker dollar to grow its exports, but the European needs a weaker euro to grow their exports. Japan needs a weaker yen to grow its exports. Even the Swiss want a weaker uh, kind of Swiss franc to grow their exports. And even the Chinese, if they were allowed by the United States, and the US is not going to allow them because if the Chinese were to let their currency depreciate, the US is going to retaliate with a protectionist tariff. But the Chinese decided they wanted a weaker currency. They cannot do it, and therefore they're not going to let their currency appreciate. So they've gone back to a de facto peg. So if every country wants its currency weak, in equilibrium, they cannot all be weak relative to each other. And therefore, in relative terms right now, the dollar is strong. You know, there is a huge demand still in the world for safe assets, for safe AAA securities. Now, even in advanced economies like Eurozone, their currencies are not, their, their sovereign debt is not anymore AAA. Or even if it's AAA, the sovereign spreads are widening. So in relative terms, the dollar is the only AAA securities. Of course, down the line, the rating agency could downgrade even U.S. Treasuries, but I grant you, before those downgrades occur for the U.S. Treasuries, every country in the world is going to be downgraded four times over, including the Eurozone and advanced economies. And in the private sector, there are no more AAA securities. You know, Even G is not AAA. And of course, all the AAA tranches of all the toxic stuff were not AAA. They were not even B, They were C. So in a world in which people are still risk averse, the U.S. treasuries are still safer than other things. The dollar is still a kind of a safe haven. And for the time being, the dollar is strong. Over the medium term, the dollar is to weaken to reduce the U.S. current account deficit. But in the short run, I don't see any reason to see a collapse of the dollar.